entire nation of England expected to win the game, but I think that also speaks to the problems in, within the country as well. They, you know, I believe they're one of the most overrated sports in professional uh, teams in professional history. I really do in sports professional history. I really, really believe that strongly. You know, when everybody, every time they come to a major tournament, they're talked out as contenders. They haven't come close to winning anything away from home ever. You know, in any major tournament, they haven't come close. Yes, people can talk about Italia 1990 losing on penalties. Look at this. This are the knockout results of, of this team away from home. Forget everything else. It's away from home. Forget what they did in, in Euro 96 and what they did in 1966. They are the five teams in history that they have defeated away from home in a major tournament. That is it. This is not a superpower. This is not anywhere close to a Germany, a France, an Italy, a Spain. They are winning teams. This is a team. This is a this is a country at half time of this game right now on their national broadcast. We're asking the question: Should Joe Hart play in the quarterfinals? Will he be dropped for the quarterfinals? That was a question asked with their pundits. Yet they were losing the game, and now they have to talk about it. They believe they still believe they could get through. They have an incredible high opinion of themselves for a country that's achieved very, very little in the international game. I think when you look at this game from a neutral's perspective and you analyze the tactics that were employed, it was very telling in the commentary when the comments that were coming about how are you going to get back in this game? Well, it's about character and it's about grit. It's about who wants it more. I've never heard more rubbish in my life. You have to have a game plan. You have to have a strategy. It's not about who wants it more. I guarantee you, every player on the field yeah. wants to win. They want, yeah. But those players need a framework around which they are supposed to go and do their job. You can't just throw the 11 best individual players together and say, okay, lads, you go figure it out on your own and make it up. Because having worked with players like that, they're not that bright. They can't figure it out themselves. <laughs> they need guidance. They need leadership. They need a manager who understands what has to be done to beat the opponent. We just watched this morning an example of a manager, Antonio Conte, who absolutely got it right. Yeah. Spot on in his tactical presentation to his team, this is how we beat Spain. And they went out and they executed, executed. it to perfection. Executed. England, the yeah. complete opposite. No game plan, no strategy, no formation, no idea no. what they were doing. No identity, no philosophy. And they got what they deserved in the game. They, and they lost. And they got beat by a good side. Absolutely. They're a good side and they deserve their moment in the last day. People won't say that they do. People say they got lucky and what a plucky team. It's nonsense. They deserve where they need to be. They deserve their place and they, and they, they deserve to win the game. We'll take